this video I'm going to show you how to install your WordPress website using an application called Softaculous. But first, let's talk about where I am at the moment. So I've created my account with a web hosting company. This one happens to be called SiteGround, but what I'm going to show you is going to be very similar if you're using a different web hosting company. So I just need to install WordPress. So the first thing I need to do is find my way to cPanel. I've just logged into SiteGround, I've gone to my accounts and there's a go to cPanel button. In your hosting it may be slightly different but the chances are it won't be dramatically different from what you can see there. So we're looking at cPanel and let's pause for a minute and just explain what cPanel is. Well, cPanel is a control panel that allows you to manage files, applications and your email hosted on your server. And it's used by many web hosting companies, so although I'm using SiteGround, yours probably won't look too much different to that if your hosting company is using cPanel. Then we need to find our way to Softaculous, and you can see just here it's under Auto Installers. So as you can see, Softaculous is an auto-installer application for cPanel and it works a bit like a wizard for setting up your WordPress site. So you can set it up in just a few clicks. Let's click on that. And of course we want to install WordPress. Now I'm going to complete the fields on this screen. I'm going to stay with the protocol that's there and I'm going to stay with awesomeclub.co.uk, that's the domain I want to use. The directory I can leave blank because I just want to use awesomeclub.co.uk. Now down to the site settings, let's type in those boxes just there. And then moving down, it's already entered an admin username, which isn't really what I want, so I'm going to put my own in there. And it's always best to avoid using admin as the admin username because of security reasons. It's given me a password. Now I'm going to copy and paste the username and password so I don't forget them. It's chosen an admin email for me. I haven't set up an email for this account yet. Um, so if you're in that situation, you might want to change that email address to an email address that's actually set up and in use so you don't miss any notifications. Finally, the language, that's English, that's fine. The rest of that's fine. So I'm just going to click Install. And there we go, the software has been installed successfully. Let's go to the overview. And there's my current installation. Now you can click on your new domain or you can just type it into uh, your address bar, of course. The chances are it will take a few hours, maybe 24 hours for that website to be live online so don't worry if there's nothing there immediately after you've installed it.